so welcome to panuka um farms we are in uh panuka gh4 which is greenhouse number um four and uh, we're just going to take a walk in um this greenhouse number four which um has had uh, a crop of english cucumber um for the last uh, four or five months um we transplanted this um english cucumber on the 20th of march um 2020 um so it's been with us for about 106 days you know roughly about 20 weeks and five days um So like I indicated earlier, um, we had a total population of about 1,330 uh, plants in here. Um, and we started harvesting this crop uh, on the 11th of May uh, 2020. So the total harvest period to date is about 101 days, um, roughly about 14 weeks and 3 days. Um, the initial projected um, harvest period was about 13 weeks, so we actually went slightly uh over um the 13 weeks though of course the pure productive uh, period was roughly about 12 to 13 weeks uh, which was our earlier uh, projected harvest period um so in terms of just um some of the key production statistics of this crop um we're looking around 14,000 15,000 cucumbers uh, that came off this uh, during the uh, total harvest period which is roughly about 12 to 13 weeks like we earlier indicated um, but like you can see now um, it's a grandfather of a crop um, some serious powder mildew but generally also it's just old um, but we also must give thanks um, and credit to rags one um, I think um, the English cucumber varieties that um, they're breeding are actually quite uh, prolific uh, in that um, much as they're not totally resistant to the likes of powder mildew, but I think um, they do manage to withstand the onslaught of uh, those kind of fungicides, I mean uh, fungals rather, um, and um, they remain quite resolute in terms of productivity uh, even when they are affected by uh, some diseases. Um, so you can actually see, uh, even at this age, these crops still you know is able to uh produce um some fruits though i think they are actually partially uh deformed and all manner of uh you know deformities so i think it's that time when we need to um you know decommission uh, this crop but otherwise we are exceptionally uh you know satisfied so you can actually see on the roof you are still able to see a few uh fruits um but the general productivity has actually uh reduced uh hence the decision to decommission um uh, this uh greenhouse uh you can see quite a lot of deformities in the um the fruits themselves um they will look big on one end and then small the other end um so Unfortunately, these are not acceptable by the market unless you're slicing them um, to be uh, packaged, you know, as a mixture with other, um, you know, vegetables. So you can see the greenness is still quite um, intact a bit of serious onslaught of powder mildew. Um, but again, still producing quite... Uh, some sizable, um, you know, fruits. Um, but it's that time when it needs to be decommissioned. Um, but the beauty is that we already have about three, four greenhouses that have, uh, you know, taken over the mantle from this uh, uh, excellent uh, crop. We must give credit that we actually picked up quite a lot of insights in managing uh, this crop. This was a guinea pig, um, and we must also give credit to Holland Green Tech Zambia um, for the hand-holding, you know, capacity building uh, in just how to manage this crop and uh, 
quite an excellent uh, job they have done, and uh, we continue to work with them uh, as we roll out uh, other, um, you know, English cucumber greenhouses. Um, so yes, it's a thumbs up. Um, though of course we're trying out other new varieties, but of course from Rags one um, and supplied by Holland Green Tech. Uh, I think once we've gone through the whole cycle of the different um, varieties uh, from this Verdon, um, Diapason, uh, we have now Borel, um, and, and now we're gravitating to Bologna. Uh, so once we've gone through the full cycle of uh, the different varieties that um, uh, Rags one has, uh, we should be able to come up with um, a specific variety that we're going uh, to grow here, or at least a combination of varieties based on the uh, performance of different um, um, uh, seasons. So that's the crop, quite buttered. <laughs> But hey, what do you expect from an aging crop? Um, I think that has done uh, exceptionally uh, very well. So, cling on, tag along uh, on Panuka platforms, both on Facebook and YouTube, uh, for more insights on how the other um, English cucumber crops in the other greenhouses are performing. Of course, we are armed with quite a lot of insights that we picked up from uh, managing uh, this crop so thank you so much it's a lovely good evening from uh, our end and of course we have our uh, deficiency chart here uh, that helps us just to pick up some of the nutrients that may be lacking in any crop these are permanent features in all our greenhouses um, because we do rotate English uh, cucumber and uh, and pepper uh, of course on the other end we have uh, uh, a deficiency chart for uh, pepper um, when we will have uh, a pepper crop in in here so again some integrated pest management practices have actually come in handy to try and lessen uh, the impact of uh, various, you know, uh, insects. But you can actually see uh, the sticky traps are quite loaded uh, with some of the insects that they picked up during uh, uh, the growth of uh, this crop. All right, so thank you so much and um, have a lovely evening, morning, wherever you're watching us from. I know time differences are out there uh, at play, but uh, for us here, it's quite, it's, it's quite late in the evening. Um, so ciao, folks, and uh, have a lovely one. Bye-bye.